Hi there, this is Noah with the Training and Marketing Department. This is going to be a short video tutorial on a new feature called Item Page Price Text. Now what this feature does is it's going to add some text to your item pages that's going to describe pricing depending on the time frame of the customer's order. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I am logged into the back end of my folder. I'm going to go to Admin, Products, Schedule Profiles. Then I'm going to go ahead and click into my main schedule profile. You can do this with any and all of your schedule profiles. I'm going to use the main one for training purposes today. So I'm going to scroll down to this item page price text field, and I'm going to start typing in every description of pricing timeframes that I'd like to describe. All right, so then I'm going to go to the end of this line and I'm going to start putting in some merge fields. So the merge field is going to start with a bracket and then it's going to have the word price and a colon and no space. And I am going to choose a time frame that I know will trigger the regular price. So in this case, my price rule set that I use for this schedule profile is regular price up to four hours. So I'm going to enter in a time frame that is four hours. I'm going to use this format for my time entry, but it does support other formats as well, which I will demonstrate in just a moment here. All right, let's try military time. It supports that format as well. So over four hours will be, let's do some math here, 1,500 hours private pile. Now, with overnight, I am going to need to be a little bit deliberate here. I'm going to choose 5 p.m. as my start time, and the next day I need to do a half an hour before my next day cutoff time. That's what's going to tell the system that it's an overnight order instead of a multi-day order. And I'll show you the setting that you can look at to determine what your overnight cutoff time is in just a moment here. Now, for multi-day, I'm actually not going to use a merge field. I'm just going to describe it because it depends on how many days they're going to do. I could just say three days and put in what the three-day price would be. But I'm just going to say multi-day and full price per extra day. You can decide how you want to do that in your folder. It really kind of does depend on your business's practices. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. That's going to leave me on this page, but submit my changes. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back into the front end. Now, this is what the page looks like right now. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. And there we have it. Now, I don't really like the way that's formatted. I would like to give each entry its own line. So we're going to use a bit of really simple HTML to make that happen. We're just going to add in BR tags. A BR tag in HTML just does a line break. So let's go ahead and save that change. And then let's go back into that item page and refresh the screen. And there we have it. I like that formatting a little bit better. Now, if you are pretty handy with HTML, you can actually make it look even cooler than that by using much more fancy HTML. So in a situation like that, it's going to look... Like I said, even cooler. Shout out to Ricky Hickey for his wonderful website. All right, let's take a quick look at the next day cutoff setting so that we can see exactly what time we need to put into that merge field to describe overnight pricing. All right, so we're going to go back into the back end here at admin, order config, miscellaneous order settings. All right, now let's go ahead and do a command F. That's F as in Frank. So Command F on a Mac or Control F on a PC is a super handy little trick that you can use to find text on a page. And that's not just an ERS thing. That's in any computer program, any web page, any, anything that has text. You can find that text by searching for it using Command F or Control F. So let's go with Overnight. And the setting I'm looking for is this one, Next Day Cutoff. So my next day cutoff is 12 p.m., 12 noon. 
So that's why I needed to put in 1130 in that merge field. So it's as simple as that. Just rinse and repeat. Do the same thing for all of your schedule profiles if you would like to add that to your item pages. And that's all there is to it. As always, test your edits as you make them. Do not hesitate to reach out to tech support. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.